you going? What are we looking for? There. Do it. Now! your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. You see, child? You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. Elizabeth, are you all right? Where, where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up his tiny chair. Mother is raising the dead. Go ahead. Oh! 
Now. There you go. Is she alive or dead? Why do you ask what? And the delicious question is when? The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Constable. It's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! That steps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. Elizabeth! It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. 